Hello, it's a big welcome to today's live from the park, your sole purpose with the angels. How are you? It's going to be a quick one, maybe a five minute-ish one. Um, yeah, so I'm going to focus on sole purpose with the angels. Now this can be, yeah, there are there is the angle of that we, anyone who's interested in angels and loves angels and angel cards, yeah, you, it can be about that, you know, in your heart and soul, you want to connect and work with the angels just for yourself in your personal life. Um, that is always the case, whatever level of soul purpose with the angels that you have. Um, but also, some of us also have a soul purpose with the angels in our work as well. Sometimes it starts with one and leads to the other. And sometimes we're supposed to help in small ways. And I think small ways, according to the angels, are big ways. And sometimes according to the angels anyway every way is a big way my life hit rock bottom over 12 years ago and I wasn't into the angels before that at all and it was a complete epiphany and an incredible thing after trauma and stress and divorce and everything to have my first ever angel card reading and then to get into angel healing, they were absolutely pivotal and transformational. And over time, I trained as an angel therapy practitioner. And I do believe that's the best thing I ever did for my personal healing journey. Little did I know at the time that I'd be then teaching this to others. So today's little video for you outdoors at the park is about that. Um, it transformed my life and healed my life to lead on to then want to help other people with this too. And my job now is also, as a light worker, is to help train other light workers who are destined to do this work as well. Because, you know, me doing this job and other amazing light workers who are currently working with the angels and authors and everything, that is not enough. The angels are making this quite clear to me that we need more of us trained out there as practitioners to make a difference to the world. Um, also, there's a lot of light workers out there who haven't healed the past um, and are very low in confidence and need to do the inner work and the training for yourself to then um, uncover the layers of the onion to then be doing the work you were born to do. So my job is to help you be, be healed and confident in yourself and in your abilities and to come out of the spiritual closet and find your angle of your soul purpose with the angels as well. Um, how I do that is with my, with my year-long online um, practitioner course, which is the Angelic Lifestyle Practitioner course for angel card readings and angel healing, which is completely um, a beautiful transformational certification, which is um, it's recognized by Holistic Insurance Services here in the UK. Uh, so it's a certified course you can get insurance for. And it's a beautiful journey. If you haven't listened to my podcast with Jacqueline Dixon, um, one of my latest students, really have a listen. If you've got any questions um, about this, um, ask in the comments or message me. Um, if you're really interested in, you know, making this huge um, leap of faith in your life and wanting to help others deeper, um, you can apply to do my training and book a 20 minute um, call with me and, and uh, do a little session together. Um, yeah, the next course is starting next month um, and it's time for more light workers to step up really and follow your guidance. What I did all those years ago, I just, I just followed my guidance, um, you know, from that reading, from that pivotal reading, from that deck of cards and from using the cards and getting intrigued. Um, when I saw that course, I knew, I just knew 100%. I wanted to do it but initially I just printed it out stuck it up and then I still knew I wanted to do it and then step by step I made it happen so if you have that strong pull and that strong guidance to train with me the thing is you also know you tend to know you know if you have that pull you know you want to help others with their healing journeys with the angels with angel card readings angel healing it is a truly beautiful journey and you go from many stages um, as a light worker on your journey with it. It's really, really quite transformational, both for yourself and others. It's amazing. I didn't know what I was going to say today, really, but can't recommend it enough. <laughs> I'm truly grateful that I found it and that I don't only do Pilates now. I love the fact that Angels is my whole work now. I feel complete. 
um, and helping get that for others, which is beautiful, really. It's very, very important work. Um, I'm on a mission to help train more practitioners because it's so needed in the world. Um, as some of you probably know, you've got a sole purpose in that way as well. And it's also finding the areas that you're meant to be helping with that as well. And I help you on your journey with that. So please say hello. Um, if you're inspired, I'll put a little link um, and you can book in um, or read more about it or message me or whatever. So there we go. Okay, so have a nice evening after we had some rain and thunderstorms this afternoon, says Nigel. Hi, says Kathy. Hi, everybody. Hi, Nicola. Hi, Marie. Hi, Gail. Asking how much the course costs. Um, I'll put the link for you afterwards. It's, it's, um, there's different options on that, actually, Nigel. Um, so, yeah. Oh, lovely to see you all. Have you got a sole purpose with the angels? What, how should we finish this today, angels? They want me to do a short meditation with you. I'm at the park, so it's not completely quiet, so bear with me. <laughs> Some people are having fun here. <laughs> uh, little Kiddlywinks having fun. So what I might do is take you on a stroll in the park, I think, and we'll do a little meditation, perhaps. I'm just asking the angels if I just stay here. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay here. So we'll do a little meditation, a sole purpose with the angels meditation. I'm gonna twiddle around. Uh, Paula says, hi, Beth, nice to hear and see you under the trees. Yeah, <laughs> Kathy says, can you put the link, please? Yeah, I'll put a link for all the details about the training. Um, it's really beautiful, actually, it's really beautiful. But we can always have a chat on Zoom about it with those of you who are interested. Um, but let's do a meditation now to finish today. <laughs> Nigel says, looks much nicer than yesterday. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It was torrential after I did my magazine event yesterday T torrential absolutely torrential <laughs> anyway today's another day but it blew the cobwebs away everyone <laughs> okay let's meditate we're gonna go for a bit of the sky okay let's do a little soul purpose with the angels meditation so sit or lie down for this so welcome to your soul purpose with the angels meditation we just do a little meditate with the angels to finish today and just breathe and relax in through your nose, out through your nose. And when you connect with the angels in any way, you know it's a guided thing. So you're guided to pick a particular card. You're guided to a particular deck of cards. You're guided to notice a feather. You're guided to do a particular meditation. And we're guided in all these beautiful ways. And our relationship with the angels just expands and expands. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing and relationship to, for you personally with the angels and how it can help in your personal life. And that's a forever amazing thing. And some of you also have a beautiful soul purpose with the angels too. Meaning that you're destined, your soul, your heart and soul and your spiritual connection to the angels and the angelic realm you're meant to go deeper on the journey. You're meant to heal the past. You're meant to and destined to help others with their journeys with the angels. You're meant to learn how to fluently see, hear, feel and know the messages of the angels. You're meant to know how to do angel card readings, both for yourself, friends, family, but also professionally with and without the cards. And in meditation, the angels are saying that the biggest block that people have is doing readings without the cards. And this is something that you actually can learn how to do, which is beautiful. The angels love to guide during the good, the challenging and the sad times of life. And that really is a beautiful, beautiful thing. So from there, just take a breath in and a breath out. And a breath in and a breath out. Angel healing is a beautiful thing. So we're going to ask Archangel Michael to come in as well. Our guardian angels like a spiritual best friend, but there are so many angels to work with and that you can learn to work with. Archangel Michael is like a warrior, like a warrior of strength and an incredible, incredible healer who you can learn to work with. 
Archangel Michael can help with your healing, but also can incredibly, incredibly learn how to heal others with angel healing with Archangel Michael. This can be healing of past and present stress, big and small, as well as also any stress for others, past, present, small or big or massive, also with people who are in heaven too, because sometimes that can drag on as well. The angels love to help this heal so that you can personally and professionally fulfill your soul purpose. Because if you're listening to this little meditation now, you have a soul purpose with the angels, whether you realize it or not, and, it, and whether it's a small or big way. But as far as the angels are concerned, every small deed of kindness and love and unconditional love is a big deed of amazingness. The angels are looking for more light workers to come together and to train as well. So really the world can come a, become a happier and better place for each individual that are helped by you. But starting always with you. You deserve this healing. You deserve this you know, beautiful relationship and guidance from the angels now and forevermore, which can deepen and expand over time. Thank you, angels. That is the end of today's meditation. Just take a breath in. Breath out, wiggle your fingers and your toes. Slowly open your eyes. Perhaps have a glass of water. I'm coming back. I hope you enjoyed that little meditation today. I hope you did. How are you feeling? Give it some hearts if you enjoyed that little meditation. <laughs> Did you enjoy the sky there? The sky is always beautiful. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. You can always look up, the, look up at the sky and it's beautiful, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. So, um, yeah, that's what I was guided to say in meditation today. And uh, thank you for coming along for today's Soul Purpose with the Angels meditation and little chit-chat together. Um, if you are guided to go deeper on your much deeper on your journey with the angels and actually like to become a practitioner um, training with me and the angels um, get in touch and the great thing is it's online so we do it all on zoom and the great thing as well is thing is you know we've had a pandemic and the world has changed and we need as holistic practitioners need to be able to work online we need to be able to do that and my business is 99.9% .9 online now both my mindfulness Pilates and angel work and I think it's really important to have a backup um, but also the benefits um, of working in this way are just as effective I find that quite exciting um, it's also how to run an online business as well I teach you how to do that how to do you know confident healing angel healing and angel card reading you know hour-long sessions for people um, which is really, really amazing. So I hope that's helped and inspired you all today. Any questions, just message me or comment. Um, you're always welcome to email me. I'll put my website at beverlydenshum.com. Um, if you're guided, uh, see you there. <laughs> see you on the other side. <laughs> so um, that was lovely, Bev. Thank you. That's a big, strong tree near you. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> my favourite trees over there, though but it was busy too many people near my well two people near my favorite tree over there so i had to go for this tree so it was a nice one so thank you tree <laughs> um tony says really enjoyed it today thank you oh that's good m says thank you yeah thanks everyone for coming and M mari says yes give my cat rosie join me oh that's lovely <laughs> the the pets love coming along to my meditations and sessions they all come and join in um, Gail says thank you so much liking the meditations meditation is so so important so whether you're wanting to train as a practitioner with me and the angels or whether you're just simply wanting to connect in with the angels you could do that in that way as well today sending you all lots and lots of love thank you for coming and uh, lots of love from the angels too see you soon